Thank you very much. Thank you, Austin. Awesome. How are you? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you for having us. Of course. Yes, yes. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, I'm excited to have you at the state dinner and the leader. Yes, thank you very much. 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 Thank you very much.
that be done in a timely fashion so that we can see how we can expand investment. People are planning when they are going to invest and we want you to assist us to renew AGOA for 10 years. Mm -hmm. That is the message from your brothers and sisters from the African continent, number one. Number two, when we met three weeks ago, I was asked by the World Bank to convene the International Development Association's 21st Replenishment Summit, where we are having a conversation on how we can assist African nations, 26 of them that are on the brink of debt distress. How do we fashion a better, a fairer international financial architecture that doesn't unnecessarily and doesn't unfairly treat Africa differently from yes. other markets. Yes. Today, countries like Kenya borrow in the financial markets eight times more in interest than other countries. And that is the case for most African countries. We are saying the Congressional Black Caucus, this great institution, the American Congress, should lead the way in making sure that the international financial architecture, the World Bank, the IMF, multilateral development banks, are fashioned in a manner that gives every country a chance to borrow concessional resources mm -hmm. so that we can develop our countries mm -hmm. and we can deal with the effects of climate change, mm -hmm. of floods, <laughs> of droughts. <laughs> and, and that no country spends more money servicing debt yeah. right. than yeah. paying for health care yeah. yeah. or education yeah. or right. social services yeah. for their citizens. Yes. The World Bank and IMF are doing what they can. I have tremendous respect for Ajay Banga, and I have tremendous respect for um, uh, Kristalina. But this Congress, ladies and gentlemen, we request you. And I was asked specifically to ask the American Congress to double its contribution to IDA, the concessional window of the World Bank that makes sure that countries like Kenya can have resources not eight times more expensively, right. but as yes. the same as other countries. Yes, we are already working on it. <laughs> I, am, I am happy you're already, already working on it. <laughs>